Hello, in this video, I'm gonna give you a guide to the file upload feature in Google Forms. The file upload feature is really useful as it allows those completing the form to send a whole range of different files to us. First of all, I'm gonna to go to this new tab here and I'm gonna to go to forms.new, which is gonna give me a new Google Form. When I'm in this Google Form, you can see I'm automatically given an untitled question and I'm gonna go in and change that from multiple choice to the file upload option. The file upload option places the file that's being uploaded into your Google Drive because you are the form owner. So it's not going into the Google Drive of the person's completing it, it's going into the person who owns the drive. So if you don't want it to go into your drive and you want the files to go into someone else's drive, make a transfer to that person before you put the form out to people and you can transfer the ownership of forms. The respondents will need to be signed into a Google account and you can restrict um, through the Google form who has the ability, for instance, people within your school or local authority or whether it's opened a little bit wider than that. Of course, if we're receiving files across the internet, we need to make sure that we trust the files that we're receiving so they don't have any viruses or anything untoward attached to them. So let's press continue and go in and look at these file options. The file option feature, just like any other question in Google Forms, allows us to put in a question or a request, and it also allows us to attach an image as well if we want to. Looking at the particulars of the file, where well, you can specify whether or not you wish to receive certain types of file types or whether you're happy to receive any type of file. Now, I would suggest restricting down the file types that you're accepting, the ones that you're expecting from the person completing the form, because this will prevent or reduce the risk of something being transferred that you don't wish to receive. You can also decide the maximum number of files they can attach. So if people are working on portfolio of work, then they can attach multiple files to the uh, this question, which is a really great feature. You can also select the maximum file size as well. Of course, the bigger the file size, the longer it will take to upload. So you can consider what you think the maximum file size might be. Something with lots of images or video is, of course, going to be a bigger file than something that's just text based. Once you've done that, you can decide whether you wish the file to be uh, uploaded or not in terms of is it required just by toggling this box here. Going to the more options, I can add an additional description to help my user know what they should be uploading. Now, if you're getting a problem where you are going to a Google form and it says the file upload option is disabled, this is because the Google form is located in a Google shared drive. So I've got a shared drive here called Demo Forms. And when I go in, you can see I've got this Google form that I've created and it's called the File Upload Disabled form. And that's because when I go into it, you can see the file option um, for uploading has been disabled. So there's a couple of solutions to this problem. The first solution is you leave your Google form in a shared drive and you share it via something like Google Classroom. When you do that, you create a new copy of that form, which will sit in the classroom folder of your own Google Drive, and then people will be able to upload the work there. Or you transfer the Google form, right-clicking on the file or two-finger tap, and using the Move To option. And then you need to move it to somewhere where it is located within the My Drive area. Hopefully this has given you a guide to being able to upload files in Google Forms and also help you out if you're coming across the file upload option being disabled. Any questions, please leave them in the comments.